all right youtube what's going on it's your girl aj back again with another video i do apologize for my absence um however there are about 30 plus videos on my channel so if you ever want to see you know what's going on um in between the time of me putting out a new video please check out some of my other content and um see what i got going on over here you know i'm I'm trying to, you know, do what I can do, and I do enjoy making this content for you guys. Um, I see that I have uh, a few new subscribers, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really do enjoy making content for you guys. Um, I want to have more interaction with you guys so you can tell me what exactly it is that you actually want to see because um, I want to do some more advice videos um, and I'll definitely do some challenge and some other fun things you know maybe bring the hubby into a few videos but I need to hear from you and I will make that happen so before we get started you know you can go ahead and like the video because you know you're gonna like it anyway and we are going to be talking about this foundation today okay i am a beauty lover um, a beauty hauler i buy and keep a lot of makeup and a lot of those products happen to be uh foundations and concealers i don't know why i have such a fascination with foundation and concealers um because i you know Thankfully, thank the Lord, I have pretty good skin and I don't have too many skin issues to speak of, um, but I really love a good foundation um, and mattes are my favorite. So um, I wanted to try this foundation. So this is, before we go any further, this is the Balms Even Steven Whipped Foundation, okay? So this container was I want to say it was $22 and it's only currently available on the website on the bombs website and there are eight shades at this present time with this shade after dark is shade name this is the darkest foundation okay so this is the darkest shade that they are currently offering um so we'll get into my thoughts about that um but let me just try to keep it going in a straight line so you guys can follow okay and as we talk about this foundation i'm going to have some clips and some photos um, to insert into this video of a wear test that I did for you guys so you can actually see the foundation on because it is not the foundation that I have on my face right now okay so let's start at the beginning so the balm is um, building their brand and they have now jumped into the uh, complexion arena with the even Steven foundation okay so about right now I am going to insert the clip of me putting this foundation on and wearing it through my work day okay okay guys brush just a little Mario Badescu rose water and um, let's just do those few spots so mm, okay so that's the foundation it looks pretty good <laughs> looking at it in the camera so let me finish my face be right back Okay, you guys, the time is now like 8.10 and I am late, so I am running out the door, but here is the finished face. Okay, um, just a little 
bronzer, blush, highlighter. Um, I try to do my face. I don't do my eyes in the morning when I go to work. Clearly that's a bit much, but I do do my face and there's the finished product. Um, I did spray with Urban Decay All Nighter um, and I would do that regardless. So let's see how um, this looks at the end of my work day, okay? Okay, check in. It's midday. It's about 11 a.m. And here's my face. Looks pretty good. I don't see it breaking down anywhere. My face is oily, but it's not bad at all. So, there we go. About 11 o'clock. So, clearly my blush and... Whew, my blush and highlight is still intact. Okay, y'all. I snatched my wig off. About to jump in the shower. So, this is how my face held up. So, the time is now about 5.45. Okay? So, I started about 8 a.m. And it's now 5.45. It's after my work day. So this is my face. So I can still see the traces of my highlighter, still see the traces of my blush. Um, I didn't powder or anything like that. So clearly I look a little um, oily, you know, whatever you want to call it, dewy, if you will. So, but looking in person, it actually looks better in person than it is showing up right now okay so as you guys uh can see in the clip i did wear this foundation uh throughout my work day okay and the first day i wore it um i really did like it it um it looked really nice and it actually maintained throughout the day okay so let me put that those uh positives in the category of you know the the things that i like about the foundation uh the foundation held up throughout the day um it didn't really uh break down you know by the time i returned home after eight and a half nine hours um, I clearly still had foundation on and all of my other products um, were also still on my face so my blush and my highlighter everything was still intact um, and my face was not um, dewy I wasn't uh, sweaty uh, because my skin type is a combination so I'm combo oily and then normal okay so um thankfully my skin um as i'm getting older has kind of calmed down and is pretty normal uh like i stated i don't really have too many skin issues to speak of um however i am oily okay and this foundation really did hold on throughout the entire day so kudos to the bomb for that okay now the negatives the negatives for me okay this is uh just my opinion um the shade range y'all i don't know why it is such a struggle for companies to create darker foundation shades like if you go to the website to purchase this product um literally there are six shades of beige okay from uh lightest of light uh to light medium to medium um and then it was like an afterthought oh yeah we do need to make a darker shade for those consumers with darker skin so um there is the shade before this which they call dark and the model for that shade um is 
uh, a Hispanic woman. So I wouldn't consider her skin dark at all. I would actually put her more in the medium category, but their model for dark is, you know, a, a medium skin um, Hispanic woman. And then the model for this shade, the after dark shade, is actually um, a black woman who is probably, if you think MAC shades, is probably NW45, okay? So that's their dark. Now, my shade in MAC is NC50, okay? Um, of course, there are a lot of lights on at this, you know, right now that I'm filming under, um, but I'm about an NC50, so I'm really not um, a lighter skinned black woman, and I'm not uh, deep at all. Um, I would consider myself probably uh, medium dark in the realm of uh, <clears throat> of people of color, okay? And this foundation, and I didn't notice this until the second or third time I wore this product, um, definitely is, is too dark. Um, and it leans uh, red on me, okay? So, of course, um, you can make it work. Like, I made it work, like, this, the second and third day uh, and fourth day with, you know, concealer. I did a little um, highlighting under the eyes and um, in the center of my face. And that was, you know, that balanced out the the shade on my uh, skin however um, it was definitely too dark for me maybe about a shade too dark and it's very warm and um, I'm probably neutral undertone so I have yellow undertones and then I also have some red um, but this leans very red so Actually, that is my biggest complaint about this product is just the shade. So the balm, if you can, you know, put another shade in between your dark and this shade, and then maybe another shade after this, um, I think you would be on the money because when I say this foundation looked beautiful and I'm gonna insert uh, pictures that I took of myself wearing this foundation um, during my work day and um, after my work day. Um, it looks beautiful on the skin. Like, really, I have no complaints with the way it looked on my skin, but it's just that shade range. So, the balm, if you can fix this shade range, I think you have an awesome, awesome product here. Um, another issue for me is with it being in a jar, um, I have acrylic nails and it's, it can be difficult to get in there and get the product. Um, so of course I use a brush, uh, to get it out, dab it on my face. A little goes a long way, which is why it's in such a small jar. Um, but if you were to use this every day, I would say, and if you only you know, use one shade, you would probably, you know, be purchasing this, you know, once every two months or so. So not too bad for a $22 foundation. Um, but at this point in time, I really feel as though I would need to mix shades and I really don't want to do that because I have several foundations um, that I don't have to mix and you know one shade is fine and i only have to buy that one shade so the balm if you can work on that shade range you have a winner on your hands so that's it so hopefully you know you guys are still with me here and uh thank you for coming back and supporting me and watching these videos please continue to do so please like the video share it wherever you share videos and you know talk to me i'm always on instagram uh life and times with ajg um i have a snapchat y'all i still have to figure out how to use that 
but I'm gonna get it together and all that information is in the description box below okay so um, I you know hope everyone out there is doing well thank you for the well wishes that I received um, back when I was having some medical issues I really do appreciate that and tell me what you want to see because I want to do what you guys want to see so let me know tell me on Instagram tell me um, in the comments on these videos let me know and I will see y'all in the next one peace